On Saturday, March 17th, the Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball team ended their terrific season with a loss to Foxborough in the state championship at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts by a final score of 49 to 41. Foxborough ended the game on a 15 to 2 run and outscored Hopkinton 32 to 14 in the second half to capture the Division II state championship. Foxborough captured their first state title in 23 years, while Hopkinton attempted to capture their first since 2001. Ivy Goglin put up a team-high 15 points and 11 rebounds for the Hillers, while Regan Caveney added 9 points and 5 rebounds. Hopkinton ends an incredible season with 21 wins and 5 losses. The Live for Evan Red Tie Affair was a success. The event raised $27,000 towards the Live for Evan Fund, which seeks to provide temporary housing solutions for families of children with heart disease. The organization has helped house over 20 families from around the world who have children being treated in Boston's world-class heart centers. The Red Tie event took place at the Crystal Ballroom in Milford and raised just $3,000 short of their $30,000 goal. This week, the Board of Selectmen and School Committee held a joint meeting to discuss the 2019 budget and a school committee proposal that the town submit a statement of interest for the Elmwood School to the Massachusetts School Building Authority. The deadline for the statement is April 8th. You can view the full joint meeting on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. Next year, we really have to do something a little bit better. Uh, whether or not, whether or not the, 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 the town manager and the, and the um, superintendent get together earlier, and let's have this happen next year in, in October, November, and December, as opposed, to getting, as opposed to getting to this point where we're, where we're trying to find a little bit. That's where I'm distressed. About I, this. And I think that you're right. I mean, that's if you had that whole puzzle in October or November, we could piece it together much earlier. But as you said, you know, we're we're working with theoretical numbers until mm -hmm. we're kind of still working with theoretical numbers. Oh, yeah. So I mean, that's a tricky piece for us to sort of wrap our minds around. But the other piece is, you know, for sure, absolutely mitigating the impact on the taxpayers. I feel like that's a huge piece for all of us.